things like this happen, Nigerians begin to cry, you know, cry that possibly there is some kind of uh, foul play uh, because of the nature of our country, the history of the country. Uh, uh, we have cases of people, offices burning because of certain vital documents. And this is not the right time for the Supreme Court to ban. It's not the right time at all. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Bond, one more time. As you said, this is not the right time for this kind of uh, incident as it is well spelled out in the news. But for me, I want to think differently because of my profession. For such a thing like that to happen, there are many causes to such fire. Yes. We are talking about the Supreme Court and it's not a structure, it's not a building that is a wooden building done by a quack. It's not something done by a quack. It's well built. And I am very, very sure that there are safety measures in that particular building. There, are, there could be a fire extinguisher. And people that are working in that environment should have been trained, if they are not, on how to handle fire incidents, should there be any. From the news, we also discovered that it started early hours of the morning. This morning. This morning. Uh, for every action, for every action, there is a why to it. So in this sense, and in this case, Nigerians will be asking, why fire at this moment? Yes, because in journalism, for example, like you said, it's always the who, what, why, why how, and where. where <laughs> so the why is the issue now. Yes, the why is the issue now. And the where, it didn't burn at the ground floor. It was not, it didn't start in the toilet. It didn't start in the lobby. It started in three sensitive offices, yeah. <laughs> according to the news. Justice Salav's Justice office. And we know who he is in terms of the Supreme Court, uh, uh, his position. So uh, uh, Nigerians want to know why. And if this, this particular one should not take the investigative officers three years, four years to investigate and bring that report. It is what Nigerians are waiting for, to know the immediate and remote cause of that fire. And we want to also add that, although they said the good part was that nobody, no, there was no casualty as at the time of the report. And we're also waiting on the Supreme Court uh, administration uh, to give you know, their own statement. This is almost 12 hours gone. And yet they are not, they have not heard anything maybe from them. Maybe the statement is but I've not seen it. Okay, maybe, maybe. Let's, let's, it could be hard before we are discussing. But we, we believe our Nigerians are really willing to know the remote cause of such fire at this time. It's very, very important that, uh, and this, this calls for precautionary measures. This calls for carefulness for us, for everyone who works in any agency, any parastata, any government you know, uh, affiliated office. Workers in such an environment should be trained. Should, they should know the first aid, you know, step to take yes. to uh, handle I such think it's thing. also part of the problem we have with building constructions in Nigeria. Yes. We we'll talk about, uh, Standard Organization of Nigeria has complained about fake cables, yes. fake electrical materials. That's correct. And all that. And, and 